the Z, we call the Z guard, like this. So the Z guard is a position that is not very offensive. There's a few things you can do. Some column chokes, some reversals, but mostly it's a defensive posture. You just prevent your partner from getting close, all right? And it's a transitory position, meaning that you're gonna move from that to something else, whether it's an underhook, like Nick was doing, deep half guard, you know, uh, butterfly guard, Spider guard, but you using it as a transport position, a position where you might have to rest a little bit, playing a little more defense, all right? So that's how we're looking at it. This is, the sweep we're gonna go over right now is the very first sweep that I felt like confident where if I got these grips, like I was gonna get the sweep. I was like right, right around late blue belt, purple belt, all right? So I'm gonna go over that position right there. Like I said earlier, it was gonna be a transitory position. We're gonna do exactly the same thing that Nick was showing us. Hand in the collar, the other hand is blocking the cross knees. All right? And there's a lot of different configurations we can have with our grips. We can do like a double paw, we can have the knee grip, we got the sleeve grip. Right now, let's go hand in the collar. This hand is busy blocking the cross face. I don't ever want Mike to control my upper body. All right? So I'm just going to grab the gi too, just like that. And I'll give you guys like the other angle in a second. When you go to get the underhook, you guys are going to hide your own elbow on the inside of your thigh. And then you just kick, and it's like a piece of string is connecting your elbow and your thigh together. Your elbow goes first. Look how I get my shoulder to Mike's chest, and then my arm comes through. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold Mike. And I'm gonna lock my shoulder to Mike, and I'm gonna pull him back to me. So his hands go on the ground. Then my hand over here that was grabbing his bicep grabs his gi, removes the slack, and passes it really tight to the other side. All right, just like that. Now, this is where you have to do a particular thing on what your partner does. If my partner stays on me, I'm gonna do something else. But a lot of times they start sitting back. So I'm gonna follow and get my elbow back on the ground. I just stay connected with my shoulder. I stay connected with my shoulder on his chest. So you're gonna come back to this like elbow post, but I have this strong grip now. Now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a hip escape and insert my butterfly hook. All right, it's a great position because he can't really run away from me because of this grip. Generally, your partner's gonna be making a grip on you again with that free hand on your knee or something like that. If not, you can literally just pull it to you. All right, so I'm gonna control that. And now, when you do the butterfly guard sweep, the bottom leg goes like a thread the needle. All right, the whole goal for butterfly guard sweep is get your partner's shoulder to touch the mat. So you're gonna turn the big steering wheel, and now he's gone. I just start driving. I ain't come up there. Get the other side you guys. So you guys want steps to kind of keep it square in your head. Start at Z guard with your grips. All right. One, elbow to your thigh. Pull your hook. Pull your part down. Two, open the deep. Wrap it really tight. See that's too much slack. Wrap it really tight. Your partner sits back. I go back on my elbow. Three, hip escape. Butterfly guard. All right, four, control the far arm, whether it's away from you or you're grabbing, just control, pull it to you, thread the needle, and drive with your hook. You don't die. One more time. You guys got it? Yes, sir. All three, ready. One, two, three.